Welcome to the penultimate day of the championship. After four days of all kinds of weather, from light breeze to gusts up to 25 knots, and everything from clear skies to heavy storms, four races remain for the crews to try and move up the leaderboard. At the start of the day, two Greek crews stood in first and second place, fitting for a nation that's provided outstanding competitors over the years, including Pachelides and Trigonis, who won five world championships in a row. They have a lot of experience and they have, uh, in all conditions, from light wind to strong wind, they have uh, a different feeling that we have because uh, I think uh, it's important to have the time on the water. You get, uh, you get the feeling and you get the practice. They've obviously done a lot of training together to get them to that level. Um, it's, they, are, they are by far the fastest boat on the water. The first race began with a heavy breeze, 15 to 20 knots, and the tornadoes starting to cut through the waves. The top three finished as they started. Once again, the Greek pair of Pachelides and Trigonis took the lead, followed by their compatriots Mavros and Tagoropoulos. Hot on their heels, the Aussies, Colby and Leonard, who held on for third. But the weather played its part once again. A late drop in wind speed during the last leg of the race meant only 13 teams could finish the race on time. When we sail this boat, we have really good feeling about uh, setting up the, the boat. When it's medium and strong wind, we are really, really enjoying sailing the boat. I think this is the secret. I don't know what uh, else it is. I, I believe it's the enjoyment. We really do enjoy sailing together. After today's action, all the podium spots are still open. As we move on to the final day of the championship, any mistakes handling the tricky wind conditions at Lake Constance could change the top three 